Well, I think I'm going to pull some cards and let's look at some wisdom from the universe. Let's see what it has to say today. What is the topic today? I'm going to give these a good shuffle. Okay, so the first thing out at the center is the past. Past issues and offerings. Emotional offerings from the past and where you live. Okay, that can be a balance. Are you balanced when it comes to things from the past? Let's look and see underneath of it all. We have a lot of stuff up in the air. Um, so let's see what else we have here and we can put it all together and see what the total message is. So going into it, we have independence and we have secrets, secrets from the past. Okay, innovation. Secrets from the past. The challenges to end them. And contracts. And the bouquet, okay. So, let me sit here for a second and see what this all comes together. Okay, so what I'm getting from this is that you can't buy into things you've kept secret because those things can come back to haunt you. Um, they need to be transformed. They need to be let go of. You need to let those die. You need to have something better that you're offering to yourself uh, that brings stability and balance, independence. So again, on the outer sides of it, we have independence in the contract. Marry yourself to your independence rather than allowing past things to continue to bring things in that are secrets. So if you have things there that are secrets, they continue to keep the mind in motion and you continue to dwell on them and dwell on them, but you need to find a way to become independent of them and to get more groundedness in your life. These are, you know, the rods are always about energy, motion, okay? Uh, things that you are doing. So it's about having a ground at your home um, and look at the things from the past and see what they can offer you, okay? And if it's something that's secret, then that needs to come to an end because those things, if, if it remains a secret, then it's something that's going to haunt you. It's either something one is ashamed of or something that um, exposure will cause some sort of a potential um, embarrassment, etc. But one has to again look at that and come to terms with it so that one can move forward into independence and that marriage rather than marriage with secrets be married to independence be married to something better going forward for your life so it's saying you know you look at the past and you see what it's offering is it offering stability or are you caught in this web of some secret that you've been trying to hide 
you need to become independent of that. And again, that needs to come to its end point. The challenge is the coffin, the end point for that and moving forward, okay, into a better contract, a better marriage, a better with light. You know, if you can contract with light rather than the secret, then you can live a better life. But you need to, again, be independent rather than being stuck in secrets because secrets held like that can be toxic and you don't want toxicity in your life. So better to see what is from the past, okay, and what is coming up. What are the emotional offerings and things that you're dealing with when it comes to your stability in your home life? Okay, so I'm going to leave this here. You know, you've got to look at something more deeply in order to transition through it and beyond it. You know, if you follow it back and it's some sort of a secret that you've kept, ask yourself why. And really holding on to that um, it can really cause toxicity in one's life, okay? So look at it, go deeper into it. You know, many times when there are secrets, it usually has to do with, a uh, again, a toxic situation that one wants to blame themselves for. And it's usually like that, some shame, some self-blame, some so, something like that. And if you really go back deep into it, you'll find out that you're not the one to blame for it. And holding on to shame and holding on to these things which you were not responsible for is, you know, you need to, at that point, um, feel better. You need to let go of that. You need to be able to release that and let that past be past and come into the future and into something better, okay? Um, if it's something that you have done in the past, maybe to harm another or something, then you need to come clean, okay? You need to, again, get back your rep reputation, okay? Um, and until you do that, there will be this toxicity which will continue to drive things in an unbeneficial way. So thanks for tuning in. Love and light, and I'll see you online and i hope this somebody's gotten something out of this <laughs> so if it's for you great if it's not in one ear and out the other um, not every one of these things wisdom from the universe is going to be uh directly for you although some of them may be something you might want to delve into deeper in your own life so thanks for tuning in and i'll see you online